What is up guys, HPKFan25 here. Today I have a screen flow tutorial. Uh, now what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today uh, is make uh, one of these iMovie intros in screen flow. The intro I'm going to show you how to make is this one. I'll just pull it up. So here's the intro. So we got, uh, it zooms in, or it, you know, it zooms closer to the globe and the globe spinning uh, and the text and everything. So I'm going to show you how to make that in screen flow. Now, the things I'll be using uh, or that you can use to download fonts and music and stuff. Uh, well, first off, this is the site where you can get really good fonts uh, to make an intro or whatever. Or, or also, it's duffonts.com, two great sites that you can get free fonts from. Uh, for Mac and Windows, and this site, I would suggest remember this site, bookmark it. Uh, if you're on Google Chrome, press that little star uh, because this site, if you have any, uh, if you want to make an intro or if you want to make, uh, put some music in your videos or anything that you want uh, that involves music and you don't want to get a copyright, go to this website, freeplaymusic.com. Uh, they have really good uncopyrighted music, so I would go check it out. All the links will be in the description below. Uh, this is really good if you're doing a project for school or whatever. That's where I like pretty much learned it from because of school. So go check that out. Link in the description. So let's start off. Uh, now, if you are using ScreenFlow to just uh, make like a, a movie or something or edit clips or make this intro, for instance, I would say just recording the just recording the screen for two seconds stopping it deleting it so it's like a open file editor thing uh, so let's get the uh, I have found a little uh, clip of a 3d globe uh, you could find them on YouTube or you could find them like I'm sure you can make one in After Effects that takes a while you can also find one online or whatever and download it um, but that's I mean, you could use whatever. So I'm just going to drag this to the timeline and make sure the clip is pretty good. It will line it up for you. So I'm just going to line up the clip. And I'm just going to play it and run through it. Uh, I'm going to find a spot where I like. I would say about right here. Split that clip. I'll delete that because I don't need it anymore. And let's say I want my intro five seconds long. So I'll split the clip there, delete this because I don't need it. And then I'll just play this real quick. I actually, I'm going to make it three seconds and stop it right here. So then you have the clip. You can run through that and see if it's where you want it. Uh, now what I, actually I'm gonna make it a little bit maybe four seconds because then I'll add like where it blurs out at the end so now I'm gonna add text so you go to the text little button right here and then you press add text and it should always equal out to how much the clip is uh, right here you're gonna uncheck the backdrop and then you're going to make it highlighted and you're going to come over here, you can make the font whatever, but first I'm going to change the font uh, to one that I really like. If I find it on, uh, it's on 1000freefonts.com, uh, if I find it, like the download to it, I will put it in the description. Uh, so it's called Perline or whatever. So here's the text. It looks just like the iMovie one. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. It's CJ Vlogs. So we can compare it with the other one. So you're going to want to center it. And then what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to click where is You're going to go over here to fill. Make sure it's checked. And then do gradient. And so it has that little where it you know, drops down to purple. You're going to click the top. And you're going to want to do it a little orange. Or I think it's yellow. Yeah, you're going to do... I believe yellow and then you're going to click the bottom half and do orange orange red 
right here is about good. So now it kind of looks like just like the one that I showed you before, the actual one from my movie. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click that, and yes, what you're going to do is you're going to want to zoom in all the way so it's pretty much you know this big. Uh, so the V is almost or whatever your text is in the middle. Uh, you can see this little dot right here, and it's big like that. And you're going to uncheck it, and then you, what you're going to do is check it again. Go over here to Video Properties. You're going to add a video action. Then what you want to do is, before you mess with this, uh, you're going to want to uh, zoom it in all the way to where you want it. So I'm going to want it about right there. Click to the side, and then we can make this... Uh, like whatever if you want to make it longer and when you want it to move so I'm gonna move that real quick and I'm going to just take this and make it two seconds so now when we watch it it will look like this so there you go uh, and then what you want to do is uh, you're gonna go I'm gonna go to about three seconds on here and I'm gonna highlight both I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add an ending transition and then what you're gonna wanna do is on the top one you're gonna double click and you wanna make a dip to black and you're gonna, you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom one and then we'll just run through it real quick so there you go now it's just a little it's pretty good uh, if we pause it right there, uh, we got the earth and the background and stuff. We got SJ Vlogs, and we keep playing it, and it dips to black. Now, if you want music or anything, like I said, you go to this. There's a bunch of them to play through. Um, you can, you know, do rock or whatever, and it will not be copyrighted. Uh, I forgot where it says that. Uh, it said that somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's all good music, won't be copyrighted. And now let's just export this and compare it to the actual one. Alright, so if you don't know how to export it, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and then Export. If you just want to publish it to YouTube, let's say you want to show off your work and you just want to publish it to YouTube from ScreenFlow, just press Publish to YouTube. Um, but I'm going to export it because I'm going to send this to him, see if he likes it. So I'll call it It's CJ Blogs uh, Intro. And you don't have to do .mov or whatever. It will do it for you. Uh, you can mess around with these settings if you want. I really don't. Uh, I always save it to my desktop and let's export it. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, but real quick, I want you guys to tell me what kind of GIMP tutorials and ScreenFlow tutorials you want to see. Uh, so comment below, down below in this video. Uh, I really need to know what you want to see, cause like I know a lot of you want screen flow, a lot of you want to game tutorials. Same with the app reviews. What kind of app review apps do you want me to review in the Mac App Store? What kind of screen flow things do you need help with? There's tutorials on. Uh, what kind of game things do you want to know? Um, I know I'm going to make a game tutorial uh, today, so watch out for that. But just comment below on this video or message me on my channel. Just make the subject like video idea or whatever. Uh, so let's just see this all finished. And I'll just play it. So it looks pretty cool. And like I said, you could add music. I didn't add music. Um, I'm going to go back and add the music later on. I just don't want to mess up the video if I download the music or whatever. Um, but it's a quick download. I'll just show you the site real quick. Uh, let's say I wanted, uh, I don't know, American Folk. It will automatically go to it. And you could download the MP3 or you could preview it on everything. Uh, they have different seconds. So let's say it was like a four second clip. They might have five second clips. You could just narrow it down. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, let's just open up his YouTube channel and see if we did good uh, and see if it compares to it so I'm just going to minimize this a little bit 
and bring this one over here. So let's see the original one real quick. And let's see the actual one, or the one that we just made. Now the font is a little bit a little bit off, but that's fine. You can do whatever font you want. All right, you just let's say if you want uh here I'll just show you a different font real quick. So I'm just going to all you have to do to fix the font is make it yellow or border it yellow and then go to whatever fonts. I mean, they have tons of fonts in here. Um but if you have a certain one that you downloaded, like I know I have this one that I downloaded. Uh now let's watch it like that. I mean, there you go. I mean, it, it works with all the fonts, and I would suggest making it different colors, um, cause so it doesn't like fade in with the background. But that is pretty much it. It's I think it's a buy. <laughs> um, looks pretty much the same. Now, yeah, you're not gonna get the same globe and stuff, but if you want a iMovie, uh, you know, intro, and you have you want to use ScreenFlow, this is good because I know iMovie. It takes a while to uh, do everything, like export it and stuff, uh, and you know all that stuff. So if you want a good one, there you go. I hope you like it. I'll look out for a game tutorial today, and I will talk to you guys later. Also, comment on this video. Tell me what you want to see on GIMP, ScreenFlow, Mac apps, whatever, or message me. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, just before we end this video. Uh, I will make you one if you want one, uh, just like this or something else. Uh, message me with the subject intro or background. Um, if you give me an idea, I might be able to make it. I don't promise anything, um, but sometimes I might just be like, "Oh, I have nothing to do. I want to. I make this for him." Or I'll let you. I'll let you know that I'm gonna make it, and then I'll, you know, send it off when I'm done. Um, but I don't make a lot. So, yeah, I might give one away. So look out for that. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.